Greetings from the smoking area at McDonald's, also home for the Geriatric 3-Way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Jim's channel. <laughs> anyway, here are Jim and I are at McDonald's right now. And we're talking about uh, basically work. We're we both work at, a, at a, 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 a private school. And I'm, he mentioned something in just a moment ago. He was talking about senpai. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with senpai, it's basically those ahead, right? Mm -hmm. So the kids that are like, if you have the high school first graders, their senpai would be the second or third, third graders ahead right. of that. But that's also true in clubs, right? Right. So there could be like in the, in the volleyball team, there would oh, be right. the senpai would be anybody ahead. Now what I wanted to ask... Any, anybody above them. Anybody above them. What I, what I wanted to ask Jim was, we really don't have that... There, there is something similar to that in the United States, but it's not anything like it is here. Not like it is here. No. It's, it's even here. It's even formalized in the naming convention. Mm -hmm. You could be like you would be Molly Sempa. Right. 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 Um, and so what I wanted to ask you is, and and it goes, it even extends into their adult life. It does. Oh yeah, yeah. You mean like at work? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, at work, and like people that they went to school with. That were their senpai in school will always be their senpai. Ah, yeah. Even after they graduate and they're on the same level, you know. I've seen that. You're right. Another thing, but mm. I've seen that in television dramas where the new hire will refer to the older employees, or the people ahead of them, as their senpai. Right. And it's not just a matter of deferral it's of a, or of respect. It's a matter of hierarchy. Right. The senpai has duties and responsibilities. To look after mm -hmm. the what is it, Kohei? Kohai. Kohai, I said it wrong again. The right. Kohai. And the Kohai has responsibility to, to basically follow the lead of the senpai, right? Right. So so what I wanted to ask you was at in, in the Japanese school system, like with clubs, what's it like? Is it I heard, I think it's a pretty intense, right? The the relationship? Oh yeah, yeah. They they stay away from each other. The the senpai and the those Yeah, people. they they segregate each other. They do? Oh yeah. The third graders, third graders will sit with the third graders, second graders sit with the second graders, first graders sit with the first graders, and then everybody will take lead from what the third graders are doing. So that's in the overall school system. Right. What about in the club? No, like no, a, that's in the club. In yeah. the volleyball team, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the, in, the, in the volleyball team, I had this image that the senpai would be ordering the... Just, okay, guys, sorry, we're in the smoking area. And a lady and a little boy are just sitting down. Okay, they're moving. I was going to put my cigarette out because the kid's here. Right. Okay, but he moved, so it's Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. But I had this impression that the... Oh, there, now we can see better. I had this impression that the senpai would... They'd be deeply involved with one another, and, the, and the senpai would be kind of bossing the... Oh, they do. ...younger ones around, they do. giving them instructions. Of course. Them, making them do menial tasks. Of course, yeah. That, yeah, of course. That's true. Yeah, especially with the volleyball team. You know, because the you know, with the with the English club, you got you know, you got to differentiate the clubs, right? Right. The the English club, they're more doing their own thing. Right. Third graders do their thing, second graders, and they kind of like just avoid each other. Right. Uh, but yeah, in the in the volleyball, yeah, the older kids will definitely you know, boss the younger ones around. Boss the younger ones around. It's like joining a fraternity, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna just gonna draw an analogy to that. But now, mm -hmm. but in the fraternity, I've I don't I've never been to it. Been in a fraternity system. Does that after the initial hazing? Does that that structure is kind of is looser, but it exists, right? There's always the old the senior classmen, right? That's right. But it's is it, would you say it's even stronger in Japan? Oh, for sure. Really? For sure. Yeah, because even like uh, our volleyball teams, all it's a girls' volleyball team, right? And uh, when the uh, the older girls come in, the high school like the seniors, when they come in, the first and second graders, which are the sophomores and juniors, they will. Stop and bow oh, yes, to the really. Oh yeah, and the first graders will do that to the second graders, right? Right. And the first and second will do it to the third, and the third does it to the teachers. And then this continues throughout life in this throughout country, life. right? Yep. And it and it's even even in the corporation, the younger people will call someone a senpai, right? That's right. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, there's the the system of hierarchy and uh, responsibility, and it's not it's not just all fun and games for the for the senpai. They have a lot of responsibility, yes, right? Yes, they do. They've got to they've got to show the right way, and uh, I guess in, in some ways this also leads to the rigidity of this of the system. Nobody wants to make a mistake, so the mm. best thing to do is just to follow what the senpai did, right? Yep. So you so that this is also says why you know, I remember when I was in working in corporate America, we would get. Um, young new hires that were brilliant mm. and they would fuck the whole system hey I'll, I'll tell you a story yeah um, a couple years ago I was having some trouble with some 
sophomores. Yeah. Some girls. Yeah. In one of my classes, and they were volleyball kids. Right. So I went to the third graders, and I said, "Look, these girls are giving me problems." Really? Yeah. And they straightened it out for me. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 So, it, in a way, the first graders are learning the school rules. Right. From the older kids, right? Right. And then when they become the older kids, they pass it down to the. Well, the you, younger ones, I think yeah. you just hit the crux of the whole thing, and that's all. Uh, the whole thing about Japanese society is about is learning. It's, it's not about learning. It, it's not about learning the the best way to do things. It's about learning the Japanese way to do things, right? Like, <laughs> right, right, the, right, right, right. Exactly. Right from 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 birth to death. That's right. And your best your your best chance of success in life is if you can master what those ahead of you are showing by example, even if it's not necessarily the the best thing. Exactly. The, the best way to do this. Exactly. Oh, shit, oh, yeah. interesting. But and look at that. There's a woman in a kimono at McDonald's. Yeah. Isn't that gosh? We're definitely in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, the, the kimono just kind of floors me seeing that in here. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Even after all this time, it's still kind of nice to see. It's, the... it's kind of the stereotypical. It's like a like a woman, a geisha with a Pepsi. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. 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 Um, now, from my point of view, being the teacher. All the students are the same to me. Right. Me too. You know, and it's it's really funny now because I've been there so long and I've seen these kids start like in elementary first grade, right? And now they're getting into high school. Right. And I can see the separation between classes. You know, this is a first grade class, this is a second grade class, and the way they interact with each other. Right. When I had them in elementary school, they were all just little kids. Right, right. That's where I think the world I'm in. Right. And that's, I agree. They are. Right. And now you see the junior high first grade showing respect to the junior high second grade, and you're just like, well, a couple of years ago, you were just a bunch of little kids playing around together. Right, right. But now the, now the system's in order. And Yeah, my daughter's about to go through that. She's going to, next week, she's going to be going, starting her first first year as a junior high school student and I was talking to her about that you know about the senpai thing and everything she's really nervous about it she's really nervous about about being able to fit in and what will, be, what, what will be expected of her mm. and I think in some ways we're kind of lucky because uh, my daughter's going to be going to a private school we work at a private mm -hmm. school things are, me are pretty mellow by yeah. comparison yeah. I mean I've heard some horror stories about mm. you know the, the things that can happen in some cases yeah but, public schools yeah. especially when everybody knows that bullying is a problem right. them. but I, I, I think it's almost a non-issue at our school isn't yeah, it yeah I'm pretty much yeah pretty much okay well I think that's it right? that's what, for Senpai and Kohan that's Kohan, right. right that's right there you go so uh, yeah according to Japanese rule I'm Senpai to him by, by seniority of the company. By seniority of being there, but at the same time, I'm he's senpai sent by to you. you, he's sent by to me because he's older I'm than I'm older, me. yeah. Right. So I actually had a conversation with a Japanese person once. I was trying to ask which one trumps the other. Right. And I I didn't get a clear answer. What do you think? I don't know. I have no idea. I've never I've never asked. Well, there's another thing that factors in here. That Japan, is, Japan is a culture of, of, of seniority. It respects seniority, mm -hmm. but it's extremely bi biased toward ageism. Mm -hmm. Age age is a huge factor. Yeah, here, right. Exactly. So, I, but I think I think in some ways I know. I whoops, there we go. Yeah. No, no, turn it on yourself. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> I am tired, I'm tired of looking at myself. Oh yeah, yeah. We just had some some um, guy sitting next to us, so I want to want to make him nervous. So I'll go sign up for just a second. But I know for I know for sure that um, age plays a, a, a critical role in all of this. And uh, even if you're not necessarily good at what you do, if you're older than the others, you'll be given you'll be deferred to, and you'll be given your proper place. Don't mm -hmm. you Don't you think that's right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're seeing definitely. And actually, it's, I can't we can't talk about it, but we're witnessing that now in our own organization. I'm gonna sign off for now, guys, because there's lots of people showing up here, and we don't make them nervous. Right. Hey, can you can you say uh, so, so so long, Molly? Hold on, let me get this. Okay. All right, yeah. So long, Molly. See you guys. <laughs> bye bye.